in this next and final match who have the same brawler at 220 pounds fighting my brother Hickson at 180 pounds. punches with him. So Hickson's objective is try not to give the other fighter the distance that he needs to hit. A hit from somebody like that is the last thing you want. Jumping around you see is hoping to disguise his approach. Hickson cannot flip his opponent. He has to wait for the right moment. Being on the bottom does not necessarily mean that you're losing the fight. Especially when you're fighting a heavier opponent. to wait a while for the right opportunity to turn things around. Gracie Jiu Jitsu techniques will give you the elements to wait for that opportunity. Hickson is keeping his opponent very close so he cannot develop a distance for a powerful hit. His hits on the kidney are very effective in the long run. my father's fights, his opponent took such a beating to the kidneys that after the fight he was urinating fragments of the kidney. It's much more difficult than you realize to use the fancy kicks and those deadly punches. Especially when you're dealing with somebody as strong as this man. There's a good chance they might not work. In this fight, they're not trying to make it look good for the camera or for the audience. They're trying to survive. In their first fight three years before, 
the brawler was sure to victory and fought more aggressively. But that didn't work. Hickson defeated him with a chokehold. Now, the second time around, he's being more apprehensive. Now, he's going to start sliding towards his back. And just like those anacondas from the north of Brazil, by the delta of the Amazon, he'll wrap himself around his prey. The end is near. In his last attempt to escape, the desperate man rolls around. And with a squeeze on the neck, the wild man taps out. of the Gracie family lives on.